Present. Present. Oh. Thank you, Miss Dolly. Thank you, Miss Dolly. We're having problems. For presenting our callers, I think I can speak loud enough. We're having technical difficulties. We'll fix those. There should be another one. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try again. Of course, I'm loud enough. Everyone knows that. I don't need a microphone. At this time, at this time, it is with my great pleasure to introduce Major General Hoyer and his guests that we have with us, and all the guests that have come to Clay County High School today. It's a very exciting day at Clay County High School, not just because we have our annual block party, but we have some very distinguished guests with us. And because they care about you and our school, they came to see you today. I would like to thank Governor Jim Justice, his wife, our First Lady of West Virginia, Kathy Justice, Major General James Poirier, Dr. Stephen Payne, our State Superintendent of Schools, and our Commissioner Randall Reed of the West Virginia Department of Arts, Culture, and History, and all the distinguished guests that came with them today. We appreciate you visiting Clay County High School. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce Major General Hoyer. Major Hoyer is the Adjutant 
General of the West Virginia National Guard. General Hoyer comes from a family of military service. His grandfather's father and uncles were all veterans. General Hoyer grew up in Charleston, West Virginia. He graduated from the University of Charleston in 1983. After graduation, he joined the West Virginia National Guard as a cavalry officer. In 1985, he accepted his first job as a clerk position for the West Virginia Legislature's 60-day session, which led to his becoming the executive to the Speaker of the House. After attending the Special Forces Officer Qualification Course in 1988, General Hoyer went on to spend more than 14 years with the 2nd Battalion, 19th Special Forces Group. In February 2011, he assumed the duties of West Virginia's Adjutant General. In this role, he provides command guidance and vision to more than 6,500 citizen soldiers and airmen in the West Virginia National Guard. Based in Charleston, he oversees day-to-day -day operations and management of the agency's resources. With an eye always on the future, it is known that he always focuses on recruiting as well as mentoring individuals. General Hoyer's efforts to create a better state extend beyond the military base and into the community. And though he does have a little spare time, he makes it a priority to give back to institutions that make him what he is today. He was a product of Charleston Catholic High School, a graduate, and he returns to his alma mater every year to talk to the junior class about the importance of service. He also dedicates time and energy to UC's Board of Trustees, offering guidance for growth opportunities. He is the past chair of the National Guard Association of the United States and the co-chair of the Strategic Engagement Committee for the Adjutant General Association of the United States. He also invests a great deal of time and energy off the clock in the Mountaineer Challenge Academy, a National Guard program that mentors at-risk students and helps them attain their high school diplomas. Among General Hoyer's impressive accomplishments are, he graduated from the Special Operations Qualification Course in 1988 as a Green Beret. He was promoted to captain in 1989. In 1994, he was named commander of the Detachment 1, 2nd Battalion, and 19th Special Forces Group. In 2000, he was named commander of the 35th Civil Support Team. In 2004, he graduated from the U.S. Army War College. In 2005, he was deployed to Iraq with the Joint Interagency Agency Task Force. In 2007, he was promoted to Brigadier General. In 2009, he received the U.S. Department of Defense Identity Management Certificate. In 2011, he was appointed as the Adjutant General of the State of West Virginia. In 2013, he graduated from Leadership West Virginia. In 2016, he was elected Chairman of the National Guard Association of the United States. And in 2018, he was appointed by our Governor, Jim Justice, to oversee RISE West Virginia. These are a few of his accomplishments. And as one can see, General Hoyer is an avid supporter of the youth in our county, our state, and our country. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to welcome Major General James Hoyer to Clay County High School. All right, good afternoon, Clay County High School. Oh, come on, you guys can do better than that. I got the governor and the first lady here. Good afternoon, Clay County High School. Good afternoon. All right, okay, so um, we are proud that the West Virginia National Guard to be a part of an initiative started by a governor and first lady called Communities in School. And I've heard the governor on a number of different occasions talking about the primary focus of what we've got to focus on is West Virginia achieving its potential. Because if we go out and achieve our potential of who we really are as a people, we're going to be the best in the country and the best in the world. So part of what Future Leaders Program in the National Guard is designed to do is to work hand in hand with communities in school and help not just the kids in Future Leaders Program, but the entire school focus on what's good about us as West Virginia and leadership and the 
responsibilities we have to make our state a better place. And from that, we as a state will achieve our full potential. Out here right now across the world are men and women in the United States military from West Virginia who are doing amazing things on behalf of our country. But this is not just about folks joining the military. It's about folks just getting to understand the potential that we all have inside of us and unlocking that and using that to make our state achieve its potential. We had set up 10 programs across the state for our first set of future leaders program. But as we started to work with the first lady on communities in school, we realized we had one more place this year that we needed to be because of the potential that exists here at Clay County High School. So with the help of the governor and Speaker Hanshaw, I went to them and asked for additional support to stand up one more future leaders program this year. And that's why we're here today, because that program is here at Clay County High School. So what the leadership of future leaders, the West Virginia National Guard, and communities in school are working cooperatively together to help all of us and to help all of you achieve our potential as West Virginians so that we can lead the nation going forward. So I thank you guys here for the opportunity. I appreciate the folks who have signed up so far for future leaders. We'll, based on the numbers that we know that will happen, probably about 20% of these kids will join the United States military. They'll be like these folks sitting here. They'll be like my two sons who are both serving in the United States military. And they'll be like Sergeant Major Patterson, stand up Sergeant Major. Retired Sergeant Major from West Virginia who retired with how many years of service on active duty? 24, 24 years of service decided to come home because she wanted to be back in West Virginia to help it achieve its full potential. So those are the kind of people that you can be like, as well as all the other things that your imagination can let you look at and be. So again, we thank you for giving us the opportunity. First Lady, we thank you for giving the West Virginia National Guard the opportunity to be a part of communities and school and help do what the governor tells us all the time we need to do, and that is achieve our full potential as the state of West Virginia. So it's my pleasure right now to introduce the person behind Communities in School, the person who motivated the governor and all of us to work towards Communities in School, First Lady Kathy Justice. introduction. I'm not sure I deserve that, but I do know that Communities in Schools is here. We're so proud of it. Dr. Payne has been a big part of this. The governor of West Virginia, Jim, has been a wonderful part of this. Uh, the state legislature for funding this. Um, uh, the governor gives his entire salary for this program, so you know how committed that he is for this. Uh, the Future Leaders in the National Guard is a program I see that's hit the ground running. It's going to be great. Along with communities and schools, they're going to partner together and just make you all be proud of who you are. Let you go to the moon, be anything you want to be. Know that you have all the support of everybody. Know that you can do anything and be proud you're from West Virginia. Again, thank you all and we just can't wait till the first two graduating classes of communities and schools and the future leaders come together. So we're going to do great things in Clay County with the Clay County Panthers. So let's go and give it a have a great big year this entire year. Thank you all.
Okay, there's a, a gentleman that I drove up here with today. I've kind of known him since high school, and he's not a very good driver, so on the curvy roads, you know, we're kind of queasy and stuff. But he was so happy to be here to see you all and know what you're doing and be proud of you all. He's so proud of you all and what you're doing, making your lives be as best as they can be. Just get your full potential, hold your head up high, and this is our governor and my husband, Jim Justice. Thank you.
I tell you this so often, but think about it. I was skinny at one time and had brown hair. My grandparents never had indoor plumbing. Think about what your future can be. It's unbelievable. And this program, several schools can't afford a, J, a JROTC program. This program of future leaders is unbelievable what it'll do. And so our National Guard stepping up with communities and schools. The whole thing about the whole project is just this in every way. It's, there'll be somebody with you all the time. Somebody you can talk to. Somebody you can navigate through all the little curves and whatever it may be. Somebody that will help you, and from that, we hope you'll grow. Probably 20% of you may go to the military, which would be fabulous beyond belief. There's nothing on earth that could be more of a serving, honorable thing. Now, I've said it over and over and over. To our military active, to our veterans, we owe every single thing that you have, everything that I have. But in addition to that, we'll have training for you to become the leaders, the leaders of the world. And communities and schools, and Kathy being the pilot of this program, is really knocking it out of the park. I think you are one now of five counties with this program. It can't be any better. And let me just say this. I hope nobody's sick. Is everybody okay? Again, just watch you. You are unbelievable. You know how you look? You can see it from right here. You care and you love and you're together. Let me just tell you this and then I'll be quiet. I became your governor. I've never wanted a thing. All I want is goodness for all of us, but especially goodness You sure, y'all are sure she's okay? Let me tell y'all this. I'm going to turn this back over to Kathy and I'm going to check. Anyway, remember this. I love you with all my soul. tell you that I've never been more impressed with a community school than I am Clay County High School. Uh, you guys are just fantastic. It was a fabulous ceremony, truly a community ceremony. Uh, very, very impressive. You have a long, rich tradition of history of quality schools, and we deeply appreciate what you do. All the reason that the First Lady, and under her leadership, with communities in schools, we selected Clay County as a place we wanted to be. So you come with a high level of recommendation. And I promised her you would not let her down. And then also with General Hoyer, we are proud to partner with him, with the governor as well, uh, with the legislature, Speaker Hanshaw, who hails from Clay County regarding the leadership program. And I'm, I, I don't know about you all, but I, I'm looking at our future leaders right here. And that's a great reason for optimism for the future. So thank you. So thank you very much. You've heard everything from the governor, from the 
First Lady and from General Hoyer, I just like to take personal privilege to tell you how proud I am of Governor Justice and his, when he tells you, folks, when he tells you that he loves you and he cares about you, I don't know of a man, in, a leader in West Virginia that is, that is as sincere as he is when he says that to you, so believe it, okay? And I'll tell you what, I don't know how he did this, Kathy, but you might be the nicest and the kindest and most authentic and sincere person I've ever met in my entire life. Sometimes I joke with the governor and I tell him he married up, and sometimes he agrees with me too. So. Anyway, I, I, I don't have a whole lot more to say, but we've got something to present, but should we wait on the governor general or not? Okay. All right. Randall? You're in for a treat. <laughs> okay, everybody. Go on your feet. Go on your feet. Go on your feet. Thank you. 
do for us at Clayton High School. It's a Panther Nation. We have a saying here at Clay County High School, once a Panther, always a Panther, and you all have been adopted into our Panther family. So one side of the keychain has our Panther Nation flag on it, and the other has Governor Jim Justice on the other side. Our CTE program made these specifically for you. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Tanner, and we hope to send you to class. All right, one more round of applause for our future leaders. How about it?